Hey y'all and welcome to Inspiring Mealtime. My name is Latanya. So today I'm going to be making Indian butter chicken. This is a crock pot recipe and this recipe is being brought to you by the YouTube Mommy Meetup Crocktober Collab for 2018. This collab is put on by Debt Free Dana and also Dreamflight 6000. So there are a bunch of us that are doing these crock pot recipes, different ones, and there will be a playlist down in the description box of everybody that is doing a recipe. So take some time and check out all of those other videos. All right, so let's get into this recipe. So I'm gonna start by making the marinade for the chicken. I'm going to be using plain yogurt. And to that is going to be some ground cumin, some cinnamon, some crushed red pepper, and some ground ginger. Also adding to that some black pepper and some salt and some lemon juice. So for my lemon, I'm just rolling it on the counter so that the juices are released and I can get a little bit more juice out of that lemon. So then I'm mixing all of that up and I'm gonna get ready to put it into a freezer bag. So a quick tip is when pouring the marinade into the freezer bag, if you put it into a container like this, it'll help you to pour it in a lot easier and with less mess. All right, so after all that marinade goes in the freezer bag, then add the chicken to it. I am using boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can also use boneless, skinless chicken thighs if you like. When you're closing up the bag, be sure that you get all that air out and then massage your chicken. You wanna get all of the marinade on all parts of the chicken because you want that marinade to make the chicken juicy and tender and also you want all the flavors to get into the chicken too. So next up, I'm going to be cooking up the garlic and the jalapeno peppers. I only used one pepper. You can use more if you like more of a spice, but I'm just browning that up. So after that, I'm gonna brown up the chicken I'm not cooking it all the way, so just brown it a little bit. And after it's browned, you wanna go in and cut the chicken up into dices and pieces, how, however big that you like it. Then you're gonna add that cut up chicken to the crock pot, and to that you're gonna add your jalapenos and your garlic. And then after you do that, you're gonna start to make the sauce. So the sauce consists of some more cumin, some ground salt, and then some tomato sauce. So I, I'm using about two cans of tomato sauce for this. And to that is gonna be two cups of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. So of course you wanna make sure it's mixed really well. And then this sauce mixture is poured onto all of the chicken and peppers and garlic that is in the crock pot already. So then you wanna make sure that you're stirring that up really good, and then it's time to put that lid on it. So you're gonna set it for four hours on low in the crock pot. That's all it takes. Okay, so after the four hours, you wanna pop that lid off, and you wanna give it a quick little stir, just stir it up, and then get ready to make um, the cornstarch mixture. So this is going to just thicken up that sauce a little bit and so it won't be so runny and watery. So just a few tablespoons of cornstarch and then some water. When I did it at first, it was too thick so I had to go back and add in a little bit more water to that cornstarch mixture. And then I added that into my crock pot and then let that sit for about 20 minutes or so and it was done. So I made some rice. You can use rice, you can use pasta, whatever you like. And I put my Indian butter chicken on top and I just garnished it with a little bit of cut up green onions. So this was a really easy recipe to make and I had fun making it. And actually we all really enjoyed this recipe. Now I do have to let you know that after it sits like the next day, it tastes even better. The flavors come through even better. Now we've never really had any Indian food so we really don't know what to compare it to but for our first time I think this was really good. So anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out all of the other videos in this collab and I'll see you on the next one. 
Bye now.